making me stronger shaking me right to the core oh yeah. i don't know what's in the stars never heard it from above the world isn't ours but i know what's in my heart if you ain't mine i'll be torn apart i don't know who's gonna kiss you when i'm gone so i'm gonna love you now like it's all i have i know it'll kill me when it's over i don't want to think about it i want you to love me now i don't know who's gonna kiss you when i'm gone So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then, Manchester against Barcelona. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Thanks Peter, hello everybody. I'm ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Manchester truly are a team in fine fettle and on the verge of rewriting their record books. They've already matched their record for most consecutive wins. One more would take them into new territory. He's had a go! And oh! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Manchester are doing all the attacking, and they've played some good football to boot. Barcelona have been keeping their passes short and sharp. It's the way they've evolved their game in recent weeks. And the finish! Oh, surely that deserved better. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Well, the tone looks well and truly set. This is front foot football with conviction. Aimed long and direct. Oh, the ball face to face with the keeper. Goes for goal! Defenders on the back foot. Into the channel. Aguero. Barcelona are oh, experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka, a, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. <laughs> Belanda. Now it's Aguero. And it's Verratti. Marco Verratti. Manolas tries to get it forward quickly. A real chance to break. Oh, good interception. Belanda. Belanda. Looks like a good ball through. Paye. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. And now the breakaway. Brought forward. What does he try from here? He's left his man. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with. And it wasn't. Going through. He's had a shot. It's broken loose. Turns and goes back. Could move up a gear here. Marco Verratti. Forward it goes. 
Dashing forward at pace. Tries a through ball. Now it's Sanchez. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Aimed long and direct. And now they can launch a counter. It's a loose ball. And now the finish. Timely intervention. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Whistle goes again. It's another offside decision. Yeah, that's a good spot and a good call. And it's Verratti. Has he picked him out? He's got away. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Matic just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up front. Marco Verratti. Belanda. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Belanda. Now the pass. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Non shell pass, that's the message there. Matic. Berati tries to get it forward quickly. He's done well to tidy up the situation. Chip through. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start, and if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. Manchester head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. That gets things going for the second half. Manchester can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Forward it goes. Marco Verratti. Forward it goes. Passes it through. Going through. Pedro. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Marco Verratti. Belanda. Out to the left it goes. Aguero. 
Paye. Kyle Walker. Marco Verratti. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. He's on his way. Big chance. Must be. He's gone for it. No mistake. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Manchester draw first blood here. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Marco Verratti. He's come loose. That's the throw. Looks like a good ball through. He's left his man. Gets it back. Gets it upfield. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Quickly. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Aimed low and direct. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Paye. Matic does well there. Alert. To the keeper and go again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Paye tries to get it forward quickly. Terence Congolo goes looking. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Played out to the wing. Belanda, Hulk. Well read, he sorted that out. Matic. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. I needed a better pass there. Ball through needs to be good here. Just the goalkeeper to beat. He's gone for it! Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. He's got away. Manchester are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Now it's Aguero. Aguero. It's Isla! That is gorgeous! A finish of true class! Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. a change that was in the offing last one allowed well his stamina was called into question then but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in he was very willing though not quite able and that has added a whole new complexion to the game
Well, the big question now is whether they can keep the energy levels up and try and grab a winner. Manchester showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Isla. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Barcelona get it back again. Aguero! It's there! And look who gets the final say! And it's certainly no fluke when you see a player of his calibre manufacture a goal that will surely seal the deal on this. And the referee brings it to a close. Manchester are stunned. They controlled it, they led, but somehow they lost. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the surprise for me was seeing a team look so feeble in what is usually a...